It's Friday and it's time for fashion. Okay, for fashion in the studio today, we have John Michael. Now, he is the CEO and lead designer at Fortune So. Yeah. I feel like it's Fortune So. Fort Fortune yeah. So. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, <laughs> but it is an amazing fashion brand. They specialize in urban and streetwear. It's yeah. great to have you here, Michael. Yeah. Good morning. Urban streetwear is yeah. such a vibe right now. Yeah, it's, very, it's a very big one, ma'am. Honestly, uh, I have to talk about where the inspiration for your pieces comes from. Okay, firstly, like in terms of now, and like now that we are like this yeah. time and this age, yeah. many youths like um, they like street tours. Even most everybody like putting on street tours, so we feel like we can make something new, yeah. like from this street mm. for people, for everybody to vibrate. So actually, I got that inspiration from mostly artists and young. Young adults. Young adults, yeah. artists. Artists, yeah. And you have created these pieces yourself. But let's talk about fabrics now. All right. Are there types of fabrics you go for especially? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't go for any kind of fabric. Mm. Though, like, all my fabrics, sometimes I need to calm down and get them. Okay. And some are not in Nigeria and oh, some okay. are from Nigeria. Like, let's say that okay. some are from Nigeria. So, of course, mm. it's, it's a very big one. And what I'm giving out has to be exceptional and has to be unique. Mm. Yeah. So is it uh, jersey fabrics, uh, denim, is it wool, yeah. or do you just have to see it to connect with it? At the point is I have to see it, though. I work with denim, I work with jersey, I work with cotton, I work with um, um, silk fabric, too. Mm. So, like, I have to see it then. Yeah. Once, I, um, once the inspiration comes, yeah. I'll create something, then I'll go with the fabric. All right. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to see some of the pieces. I know you have some models with you as yeah. well. All Streetwear right. is mostly comfortable, yes. you know, easy to put on, to put easy on, to, yeah, pull off. to pull off. Yeah. yeah. So uh, you need to talk to us about what this first model is wearing. All right. It's putting on an armless and a joggers. So the, there's one and this and the jacket okay. and a bag. So it can be used as bag mm. and can be used as jacket also. Okay. So now, um, the fabrics you decided to use for this, yeah. talk, to the, to, talk to us about it. Um, the fabric, is, I have a leather here. Leather? It, it's not just an ordinary leather. Like, okay. So the leather was, like, I got it from a very um, a big um, fabric okay. house. Yeah. yeah. Then the pant is um, um, a silk okay. fabric, yeah. and the t-shirt is a whole a okay. whole fabric. So you can use the jacket as bag, and as well can be used as um, a jacket. So, so it's like um, one of those jackets that you can store things in. Yeah. Like yeah. Uh, as it is now, it can once you put the jacket off, yeah. it can hold the jacket as bag. Maybe you can you hold it like a bag it, too. Like a bag, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, like Interesting. A bag, yeah. All right, so I love the idea of all the pockets on the jacket. It's kind of like a semi waistcoat yeah. um, and jacket satchel. Yes. Right. Yes. Uh, but the, I think that's nylon fabric for the pants. Do they, uh, they reach the floor? I'm not sure if they reach right to the, the floor. Uh, yeah, it they is. Do. It's because of the shoe, though. Oh, the shoes? Because okay, of the shoes, okay. Yeah. So, so um, who who did you have in mind when you decided to put this on? So, uh, actually, it was a big artist, Ashake. Oh, like, okay. He liked, he liked something like this, so okay. I feel like I can make something like this for everybody mm. to vibrate. Okay. To vibe, so I decided to make this kind of piece. So I feel like you're a fan of Ashake right now. Yeah, you're a big fan. <laughs> and I can actually <laughs> see Ashake wearing something like this. Yeah, he loves uh, armless and, and, yeah. and something like baggy mm -hmm. pantano. <laughs> so I decided to All make right. something like this. Fantastic, fantastic. Yeah. Now, um, I'm, I'm looking at what you are wearing. You, the pants you are wearing now, they're like corduroy. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's corduroy. corduroy. This corduroy fabric, yeah. This corduroy fabric and this um, um, t-shirt fabric. Yeah, yeah so t-shirt fabric, but it's cut in an office cut. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is just like a, a, a corporate and a streetwear mm. combination of corporates, mm. being looking corporate, yeah. and still, you are still wearing street. <laughs> yeah. So what about the inscriptions, the inscriptions? Uh, actually, the where do you is... Where do you get those write-ups from? Oh, actually, I have a fashion brand and I have a place that I do the um, printing and all. Okay, so together. you do the graphics yeah. essentially yeah, yourself? Myself, yeah. Okay. So actually, I, I, like, I feel like nothing comes from 
anybody from God. Mm -hmm. So you looking, you have to enjoy life and still, you know, <laughs> you have to believe in God. I've too. actually never seen an inscription on a sweater vest before. Yeah. So this is a sweater vest on a shirt that's made with t-shirt fabric, yeah, like, yeah. right? That's why I said. Of this color. I said, I said earlier that, you know, this is like a corporate way. Yeah. But still like a street. It is yeah, very, so very. It's very comfortable to put on at any time. At, I have another model standing by at this point. Okay, so this is another vest, yeah. right? Yes, sir. So talk to us about the fabric uh, at um, the top. The, these um, armlets also and mm. a bucket hat and then a bag. Actually, this goes with, um, this is a jean mm. fabric too and um, a, um, okay. a, a boot, a boot, like a boot, yeah. So yeah. this is just like a, a street wear too mm. and still like, for anybody to put on. Mm. And do I got this impression from which kid okay. uh, likes armless and crop jackets. Okay. Yeah. Crop jackets. Yeah. I was asking I was wondering what to call that jacket. Uh, so a crop the crop jacket okay. has become a thing. Yes. Uh, a Very big well. a big vibe actually. Um, but Aren't you ever worried that some of these things might go out of fashion after a while? Uh, yes, uh, to me, that's what I'm saying, that we just have to, because now people, things have gone beyond of just putting on any kind of trace. Yeah. Because what we are seeing is what we are making. Mm. So we are seeing our, um, our artists and we are seeing what they are doing, what they are wearing, mm. and that's what they are putting on outside the country, okay. outside Nigeria. Okay. So we feel like we can just make something mm. out of what they are doing. So that we'll vibe everybody in our yeah. country. We'll be able to vibe with that. All right. So. A lot of people, when they, they think of streetwear, they think of buying from brands abroad, imported. Yeah, things. so... But uh, I guess it's because of challenges of quality. Quality. Have you ever had that conversation with yes, your customers yes, yes, before? Yes, yes, I've, yes. I've seen that several but mm. this That's why we, like, we come up to something like this mm. for everybody. Okay. Like, so that you'll be able, you have access to it instead of you going outside, instead of you saying that I like this on um, one Chris Brown or an artist outside the country. Yeah. So we'll give you all this kind of vibe here yeah. too, with a good quality. Okay. And even some fabric are imported too. Okay. So we'll get the Fantastic. fabric outside. But you make, make something here. here. So what is our model wearing now? Um, this is a baggy pant mm. and a baggy shirt. Baggy shirt. Yeah. Okay. So the design on the shirt. It's just like African sculpt so like let's say that African design. Yeah. On it, it has a little vibe of African mm -hmm. design like on it. So we feel like let's just make something out of the box. So let's make something out of now this just being so serious. Let's yeah. make something of I'm African. loving these pants though. I'm yeah. loving I'm loving these pants. Do you have a name for this design? Yeah, actually. Yeah? I, I, you haven't named it yet? You haven't named it? Like, I've not launched it yet. All right, so I would call it bubble pants. They're like or bubble puffy, or puffy 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 pants. bubble pants. Yeah. yeah. They, they they look so amazing. I love it. I feel like yeah. you could wear it on boots, on trainers. Yeah. Uh, I feel like you could even wear it on the, the sweater vest you're talking yes, about. Yes, yes. You could you get away with a lot of things. Yeah. And I love the color too. Nice one, nice one. All right then, at this point, we have to wrap it up on fashion, but, but thank you so much for coming to showcase right. these pieces to us. Right. John Michael is Fortune So. That's yeah. the name of the brand. Actually, I sew it myself. You sew it yourself? Yeah, I sew it myself. Like, wow. Once I get the fabric, I'll sit down like, how am I going to do this? Powerful. Then I'll create Powerful. a big, Powerful. A big song. Thank you so much, Michael, for yeah. coming to show us these pieces. That's all we have time for, I'm afraid. We have to take a quick 